Today I'm taking the train to a very interesting southwest London town. Not only that, it's the home of English rugby. This is Twickenham, which is about 20 to 30 minutes by train from London's Waterloo station, depending on which train you catch. It's a popular commuter town with a population of around 62,500. I'm turning left out of the station and just up the road is this popular pub. Very popular indeed on rugby days. Twickenham is not a major shopping area. It has strong competition from nearby Hounslow and Kingston. But there are plenty of shops to browse. I'm headed towards the River Thames. This pub takes its name from Eel Pie Island, so named due to the popularity of the pies served to day-tripping Londoners. I shall look at Eel Pie Island a bit later. St Mary, the old parish church of Twickenham, is a Grade 2 listed building. It's close to the River Thames and the poet Alexander Pope is buried here. On the riverside is the Sandy Kiddies Play Beach, lovely on a sunny day. Just around the corner is the Italian fountain in York House Gardens. Now it's quite a surprise and a shock to visitors. It was imported from Italy by a fraudulent financier who took his own life on conviction in 1904. Sadly, the fountain is currently looking very neglected. York Gardens run alongside the riverbank. It's a very enjoyable walk. You never know what you're going to come across. Rhododendron and yew surround this unusual wrought iron structure. Seen all over France, but not so much in the UK. This pissoir is genuine Victorian. It's for gents only. There's a reminder to please adjust your dress before leaving. York House was named after the York family, who owned local land. It's not known when it was actually built or who the architect was. Over the centuries, the house has been owned or occupied by a cavalcade of notable people. The Richmond Council acquired the house in 1924, and today York House is the centre of the borough's administration. There are quite a few other interesting houses as I walk along by the river. The Swan Pub is very popular for food and drink. Mm -hmm. 
I'm following the Thames path towards Richmond. Orleans House was a Palladian villa built by the architect John James in 1710. There's a ferry across the river from here to Ham House. The boatyards at Twickenham can be very noisy. This is the bridge to Eel Pie Island. There was a period in 1963 where you could see the Rolling Stones play there every Wednesday. The Who and Pink Floyd all did gigs at the Eel Pie Island Hotel, a rickety 19th century ballroom that was lost to fire in 1971. I've walked past Twickenham Station again in the opposite direction to Twickenham Stadium, the home of England rugby and the largest dedicated rugby union venue in the world, seating up to 82,000 people. There's a rugby museum here and a shop selling rugby merchandise. Almost across the road is the Twickenham Stoop, home to the Harlequins. Well, I have to say I would have shown you more video of Twickenham Stadium, but uh, Twickenham Security came out, told me that I had no authority uh, to take video of the stadium. Uh, so there you are, that's just a small look at the outside of the stadium here in Twickenham. All filming was done from public roads. Just before returning to the station, I'm looking at the River Crane, which flows through Twickenham and empties into the Thames. It's about an eight mile walk if you want to walk along the river, but I'll save that for another time. Well, that was my visit to Twickenham. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. By the way, I spoke to a member of the Metropolitan Police regarding my filming of the stadium at Twickenham. Uh, he says it's a public place and there's no reason for me to stop filming. So thanks to that member of the Met Police. I'll see you next time.